Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents Group Therapy. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a show where it's just going to be old Bear and Michelle K. So oh, we're going to get to it. So you ready to do it? Yep. Let's All right. do it. Without further ado, let's get to it. One thing we're talking about with leaders is if you go to group therapy, and this is something that I emphasize, no two group leaders are necessarily going to lead group in the same way. Yeah. So a lot of people in y'all subdivision lived there over 10 years? Quite a few. But, uh, no, I won't say no. quite a few. There are a couple. Mm -hmm. But not a lot because a lot of them got out when the housing market popped, oh, yeah. and they, they sold ooh, to all I the know they hate that. invitation I know homes. They, and I know they hate that. So you it's get a lot that, of rent. That, that money made people look at things differently, but yeah. you didn't see the after effect. Right. You didn't think that, oh, okay, yeah, I sold my house for this amount, but look at the market price now yeah. for the same amount of house. You probably gave away a nice oh, house, yeah. and now you're finna get this oh, little yeah. bitty house for twice what you had. I oh, refuse. They can't do like I refuse. When I seen it, I was like, man, please, I know my budget, <laughs> and no, I'm not, right. I'm not finna put more money and a down payment mm -hmm. on top of paying almost two thousand dollars for 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 less than what I have now. Mm -hmm. Man, I sit in my house. People call me. I told me I'm dying this house. So That's what I told. <laughs> I'm dug I'm in not, like a tick, dog. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Unless I get married or something like that, I would not still sell my house. I would keep it. Like, mm -hmm. this is a good investment. I don't have long left Fantastic. on it. So I'm not going to do that. And the market, man, please. I, yeah. I want to leave it for my kids if I can. But if they don't act right, then it's... Me and my sister talking about today. It's so like I don't give a damn. They not going. I don't want you to dog the house out. You know right. you gonna. It's, yeah, that's yeah. gonna suck. I hear you. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean that's that's so true. I am. Um, it's funny because I'm I'm in the same boat you are. Mm -hmm. My my interest rate is two point seven five. 2.75 These niggas call me I'm laughing They want three And Shit Shit no. They be calling me Talking about It dropped to six I'm like <laughs> Six what? Six point? Six percent I'm, I'm yeah. like <laughs> I know you was like Miss did you even I said do what? Check the record Before you do call me Like Do what? I said, obviously, you didn't even look at my have. rate, dude. They couldn't You have. ain't even look. They couldn't we, can, oh, we, we see that you have plenty of equity. And mm -hmm. how would you like to pull some of that equity? For what? Mm -mm. For what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm like, dude, literally, my house right now, uh, because of everything that's going on, its value is literally worth twice what I paid for it. Yes. And yep. then I've been paying it off making two and three payments so mm. i owe less than i owe right at about a hundred thousand on the house mm. but the house is valued at over 450. Mm. so i'm like do what why do what why well, well, I... well if you want to um uh do the heloc or um for what my interest rate is 2.75. Yeah. Do Why would I go up? Mm -hmm. Do what? Mm -mm. Huh, bro? Mm -mm. Wait, wait, that, wait, man. That's how they get you. Wait, are you stupid? Mine is at 4.5, and I got that in 2008. Mm hmm. I never refinanced my house. I never had any. And they be like, well, you got this much. I know. I know. I, I have know, a plan I know. in my head. <laughs> I have a plan. And y'all not going to mess it up. I don't care what money. I'm not mm -hmm. refinancing my house. If, right. I, if I'm good, if you going to give me what I want, though, now if I refinance it, you're going to have to start at the. Right where, I don't I'm want, at. right where I'm at. Don't add no more years. Don't add no more nothing and all that. And they don't want to agree they to that. They ain't going to do that. It's like, no, I'm saying so I'm you gotta good. Start from like, yeah, payment 360. Man, you lost your freaking mind. I told him. I told him, well, you wasting your time. So don't even ask me about, no, I'm not leaving because that makes no sense to me. If you can't right. do where I am right now and make that same uh, just. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not suffering. I'm not struggling. I'm okay. Exactly. Mm -mm. Do you get the calls uh, about they wanted to to buy your house from up underneath you? 
Do you ever mess with them? No, mm-hmm. I be like this. For what? It, look, it's underneath me perfectly fine. Because yeah. I can afford what, what I'm paying now. Is I keep telling it, I have one income. And that's just me. Mm-hmm. One income. There's no other little act extra t- stuff mm-hmm. so I have everything planned out mm-hmm. I've been doing this for I've been in my house it be it's 18 years now I've been in my wow. house so I've been in here for a long time mm-hmm. so I know like <laughs> outstanding so I'm like no like I will be a dummy to leave ne- like no I'm not if you can't meet me where I am now I will pay this mess off like I told people I'm gonna pay this off Mm-hmm. And then invest and put into my house and live here forever. I, I love the area. My house is a decent house. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. a perfect spot. I'm not going, and I'm like a stable person. Mm. I like stability. There you so go. So, me and doing all that running around, I'm. Mm. <laughs> I live like these Joneses. I live like Michelle. There you, you know, go. If this may work go. for me, I don't give a damn about nobody else. They don't mm-hmm. even like coming out to my house anyway. I'm happy with that. Stay mm-hmm. on your side of town. I'm good where I am, <laughs> but I ain't selling. No, I hear you. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I like I like to mess with them. Like they'll call me and they be like, "Do you still own blah 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 so and so so and so so and so street?" I'm like, "Yeah." They be like, "Are you interested in selling?" Sure. They be like. Oh, okay. Um, well, we represent so and so, and you know we like to get some information. Sure. What do you need? Oh, you go through and all that. They, they, the whole spill, mm. and they'll be like, okay. So, um, what, 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 how, what type of quality do you think the house is in? How much do you think? And all this stuff, and all you know, they'll walk all through that, mm-hmm. and they'll get all through it, and they'll say, okay. So, what type of offer are you looking for? And I'm like, yeah, you ain't gonna want to pay. It. Well, I mean, you'll be surprised, sir. Uh, how much? A million. Sir, that's kind of unreasonable. And I'm like, you call me. <laughs> and then they hang up. I'm like, like, they don't want to hear I'm not even like, trying to. I'm never. I'm telling. Once they get a talk, click. I don't even have time. I don't even want you to waste your breath finishing that sentence. Yeah, so I don't no. do it every time, but every so often, like it'll be a day where, like, uh, I'll be getting ready for like Thursday night football or something, and I kind of be getting my snacks together. Then my phone will ring, and they get me. I'm like, oh shoot, my phone was over there on the charger, and I just oh, hit man. them here. So they start talking. I'm like, well, I got time while I'm waiting. <laughs> And so I'll tell them every time, a million. You give me a million, I'll walk away right now. They're like, sir, that's not even, it's. <laughs> and that's it, why I say, you called me. Four years, it might be up there. It might the be. The way the market is going. So yeah, I don't and know. then I have to say a million five. Because right. I ain't going you know nowhere. What I'm I, I will remodel my whole house mm-hmm. before I move. I'm not leaving. I know that's right. I'm not doing it. I'd rather invest in something like a vehicle. I'm not giving up vehicles that I worked hard, paid them off, and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh no, you, we here for life. Yeah. Like this yeah. was no joke. You take care of your stuff, and it take care of you. That's my thing, and mm-hmm. I try to take care of everything I have. So mm. why would I give it to you? And then my thing is, if I see you in something that I didn't have, and you done outdid it or did some extra, I'm, I probably sitting outside the house like, bitch, I want to set this. on no fire! Like, oh y'all living like this in my shit? Y'all done did all this mess? No, I'm too petty. I'm telling you, when I sold, when I when my mom convinced me to trade in my Honda for this little SUV that I hated, mm. she felt bad. But I swear to you, every time I saw a Honda, I was looking to try to see if it was mine. Like, I promise <laughs> you, I want to say, can I please get my shit back? Look, what I got to do to get my car back? Because I did no, I'm not good at doing that. So I like to keep it because if you if you really did something out, out did what I could have Mm. And I knew the condition of my vehicle, mm-hmm. and it was good quality. Yeah, <laughs> that was the only time I ever listened to somebody else about giving something up, and that was my mom. And I told wow. her, "Love you to death," and she felt bad. Yeah. She felt bad. She was like, "Cause I talked about it. I talked mm-hmm. about it for a whole year, too. and today, until they got me out of that little mess that I had and gave me what I really wanted, I." Oh, I was not satisfied. I promise you. Wow. Yeah. You know, I had a situation kind of like that. Um, like years after I bought the house from the person that used to live there. Mm-hmm. Um, and the house looked completely different than what she did. So, she, um, I guess she didn't change uh, address on something. And she mm-hmm. got like two iPhones delivered to the house. So, 
but luckily the slat the the packing slip on the inside of the box had a contact number mm -hmm. so i called the contact number and it was her and i said hey um i think you ordered like two iphones and they just came to the house and she said oh i sure did and i completely forgot that my my phone service was still attached to that house mm -hmm. and i said well you know if you want to come by and get them they're here you know mm -hmm. and she said oh okay and she kind of paused like she thought i was gonna say i meet you i ain't mean you nowhere <laughs> you know where the house at <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly where it's at you so right. to me right so she came out right <laughs> mm -hmm. and when she came out i was i was ready on the other side um so she rang the doorbell and i walked up to the door and i seen her out there and she just <sighs> look around, looking at everything. And I go to open the door and I was like, nah, let me see. So me I see went and looked out the window and like five minutes, I sat there and just watched her look at that stuff. And you could tell she was just like, oh, he, they did oh. this, they did that. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's you know, because when we first got it it was like the whole front yard was just like overran like weeds and then mm -hmm. it was like bushes from the window all the way into the yard and oh. she had some weird gnomes and stuff out there so we came and redid all the landscape and put the retaining oh, wall man. the white yeah, lava she, rocks and all that you know we put the rails up and she was just like mm-hmm oh yeah she's looking around I'm like yeah Yes, take it in. Yeah, take that would in. be me. I'll be sitting there talking. Oh, you, ain't nobody finna live in here today. Cause I'm like, y'all, I'm telling that would be me. I'll be out there studying. You be like, she ain't even ring the doorbell. Hell no, I'm too busy looking at all the adjustments they try to did to the house that I done had. Like, oh, y'all done did this, y'all done added. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh-huh. We done I ripped be, the trees out the front yard. Oh, uh, yeah. The I'll grass be that on petty. Level. Yeah, yeah. I'll be that petty. I'm telling you, I think I would be. That's yeah. why it's hard for me to give up something I had for so long, too. Yeah. Yeah. And to see you improve, and I know I could have done it, yeah. probably not at the timely fashion right. that you have done it. Right. But I don't mind taking my time, right. yeah, right. because I'm, I'm not going nowhere. Uh -huh. So I'm not, I'm not in that big of a hurry unless it's something major. I will take care of that. But like little small stuff, I don't worry about it. Mm. But I be damn. <laughs> if I give up something and I see you in, I'm telling you, I will be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Let me tell this lady been sitting outside my house. Yep. <laughs> That's me. When y'all leaving? Cause I I need to come in the house. I promise you. I still, boy. I, I was gonna invite her in yeah. too. <laughs> Look. You wanna come in? See, we did even more. Oh inside. man, if I come in, oh no, I ain't leaving. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> they talk. We can't get. I'm be a squatter. I'm like, look, <laughs> hey, you said that you been here less than ten days or however many. I'm. I'm not leaving. I'll be hiding out in y'all basement. Y'all been here for thirty days, so y'all gotta evict me. I'm not leaving. Yeah, oh, that'll be a man. hard. That's yeah. a hard pill to swallow to watch it somebody is. else invest in your stuff that you that you could have just took the time out and done and just be patient about. Yeah. And and just work on that, you know. Especially yeah. with this time, money is things are so high. So yeah. why give up something old, you know, especially if it's your, something that you valued and right. that you and put money in. Of, right. You, you know what I'm saying? Care mm -mm. And invest it. Right. Not doing it. And it was <clears throat> It's funny because the wife's cousin, um, she bought her first townhouse um, the same time we bought our house, around the same time, a little bit after us. Mm -hmm. And her townhouse was right around the same amount we paid for our house at the time. Damn. So, yeah, I mean, it was a really nice townhouse, but it was still a townhouse, right? Right, compared to a house. Right. So, a couple years later, she sold that and she bought a house. Mm -hmm. And then, but everybody was running around talking about how much the house was. Oh, you know, this house is a half a million dollars. I was like, wow. That she paid for over yeah. at the, the townhouse? Yeah. So she sold the townhouse, made some money off of that. Mm -hmm. And then she basically bought the, the new house with mm -hmm. the money from, mm -hmm. you know, the swap and all that. So I was like, wow. No, I'm really, I'm curious. Like not jealous, but here I want to see what a half a million dollar house, right? You know, looks like because right. I like going into houses to see what they're like, but <clears throat> there's very few people that I've, you know, in recent times that I've been inside of, you know, the the half a million and higher houses mm -hmm. that I know them and they own it, right? So, 
and it was a new house. It was a new house in a brand new community. She had it built. Oh, okay. So I was like, I, I wow. really want to see what this is. <laughs> and she don't watch the show, so I, I have no problem. I'm just <laughs> it's okay. It's the, it's just no. a look and an undertone. Like I know it's gonna go no. left. So, yeah. Yo, I walked in there and I was like, "Well, first of all, we pulled up, mm. and literally, the next door neighbors." It might as well have been the entire house because they was this close on both sides. It was like, <laughs> it was that clusterphobic. A million dollar house. Yeah. And it, it, I don't know if I could, but it seemed like I could go outside the house, stretch my, out my arms and touch both houses. They seemed that damn close. I was like, mm. yeah, it's a no for me That's, right out the gate. This yeah. a half. Mm -mm. Half a million. I don't even want to mm -mm. be nowhere near a neighbor. Exactly. Like I should have exactly. a whole property line that's exactly. like at least a good no less than a third acre. Yeah, no like, less than a third acre away from people. Like, what area? This was in Atlanta. Yeah. Well, Powder Springs. So really, and they got all that property. Yeah. It's a property. It's man. Yeah. My house don't touch. I, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I don't even pay that much. Like yeah. And I live in a modern community, and I got. Well, you in a cul-de-sac too, you so y'all, right. y'all got, got. I'm not a. I'm not a. But <laughs> I'm not in the cul-de-sac. But I have a lot of room. But my neighbors is. I guess it's the design of the house that you know. Um, their house is a little further back. Mine is kind of up, but okay. we have all that land in the back and okay. stuff. And um, you can drive cars between your houses, right? Oh hell yeah! Yeah. You can, you can drive a lot of stuff yeah. between our houses, but no, they're not that close. No, and yeah. it's all that room, and I'm, I didn't even pay a hundred and fifty for my house mm. at that. But that was in like two thousand. I hear you. <laughs> that was like a long time ago. So. I hear you. But yeah, it's no way you can. That's what I'm saying. You, I didn't. And I and I hate it for the people that got caught up in that money because mm -hmm. that's all they saw, and yep. it was like now they like, man, I gotta rent this, and then. In an apartment? Yeah. Yeah. Two, three oh, thousand I'm dollars? Through, I'm, I'm going and I'm through like, it now. Are you kidding me? My daughter going through it now, man. It makes no they that's a that's beyond a mortgage what they're yeah. saying. Way and beyond. You talking about first month rent, last month rent, a deposit. Deposit, uh-huh. And then if you're a renter, if you're young and you live with your parents or something, you don't have rental history. Oh, now they got it. this thing called the risk. A risk fee that they charge anywhere from two to six hundred dollars on top of deposits and everything else. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's some news. Because <laughs> back in our days, they didn't even have that. They no, got it now. But you see how we did it? <laughs> because a lot of people. <laughs> that's why they got we it. Now. it. Like, we be just, <laughs> that's shoot, that's we why they got it. Little, now. They had a little prorated discounts and stuff. Uh -huh. and you play around with that and uh -huh. little You just but you used to see the sign. Two months free rent. What? <laughs> <laughs> you mean that like this? How much do I they pay to get in here? Uh, and then you got all the money. Then you forget about it. We played around big time, but mm -hmm. I think we're still more responsible though. Yeah. But this generation, they don't know about responsibility. No. So they will live to the bare minimum and think it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and paycheck to paycheck, rent by rent, light by light. That's how they, they okay with that. Yeah, so. but so, technically they got to be too, because you see how much stuff costs. They don't make enough Cost money. Of living. No, they make you still want to be at home yeah. with the parents because they're not giving these kids no type of leeway. And then if it is, it's fast food, it's uh, retail. It's nothing major, and if it is, is some major, you gotta go through all these little hoops. But sometimes the kids kind of mess themselves up because they come in with all these piercings, you come in high, yeah, you come yeah. in with all this. So they have to put, you know, if you're not gonna be serious about that job. That's why you're going over here to McDonald's and yeah. crystals and all that. And they don't even want you there because you don't really want to show up on time. Mm -hmm. Even at the post office, these people do not want. It's like these young people just make their own rules up. Yeah. If they get mad, they not coming to work for a day or two. Post <laughs> office, I'm telling you, they won't. They brought all this mail back. They be out there on their phone, and they can track you. 
They mm. track you everywhere. They can tell yeah. how long you done sat somewhere. We had one girl. She's supposed to be my sub six months ago. She still hadn't even trained on my route. She don't even kind of work. She First, a house burned down. Then her dad was sick. Then somebody was, one of her kids was, met, one of her cousins was missing. And you came back to work like it was nothing. But the post office don't fire people like that. You got to go through a protocol. And I blame management. Mm. But it's like these young people, they come in with all it. And I just sit back and say, you either got a sorry husband mm. or a boyfriend. Mm. Or you live at home with your parents because y'all have no sense of no urgency. No no respect for a job. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it's, it's funny um, that now we went there because there was something that I just... I just read that um, I couldn't believe it when I seen it. <clears throat> you know where Forest Park is, right? Mm -hmm. Or you just so. Mm -hmm. You know they just raised their minimum wage. Yeah, you want to know what they raised it to? You, it, it, it's probably going to upset you because it definitely upset me. Well, the minimum wage here is what fifteen. Is it that high? It was like seven something. No, they been went up. Yeah. They went up they went up a little more than seven. I okay. wanna say it's either between twelve and fifteen dollars an hour. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. That's still insane. I remember being a teenager. age, I was making four and a quarter. <laughs> Four seventy five. That's all I'm telling. Four twenty five to four seventy five. Yeah, yeah. But still bringing it home a decent check because I was working. Yeah. So yeah. it worked for me at the time. But no, what are they paying? Twenty three forty five an hour. That's a hair under sixty thousand dollars a year for some minimum wage. So that means in Forest Park, mm -hmm. you can go get a job at McDonald's. And make almost sixty thousand dollars a year flipping fries. How? But that's the cost of How? it. But you know. Do you know what that's going to do to the economy? Mm -hmm. Because if other people in Georgia follow suit, <clears throat> just think if a, I, I don't even go to McDonald's. Do you eat McDonald's? No, I haven't had McDonald's. I haven't had it in no. years. They either. they kind of played out to me a long time ago. Yeah, so. I. I got sick from it one day, and once something upsets my stomach, I never, yeah, I never touch it again. For me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think, and I guess I could look it up one of these days. But if you imagine, like Big Macs these days, they got to be somewhere around seven, eight dollars, because most fast food places yeah, they're they somewhere up. around mm -hmm. there. I don't know how much. Could you imagine if all your employees make at least twenty three dollars an hour? How much is going to cost to eat at that McDonald's? Because you can't sell a Big Mac for eight dollars if you're paying everybody twenty three dollars. You literally have to sell thirty five Big Macs. That's going an into hour. the job twenty three dollars. Twenty three. That's that's their that's the city minimum wage, and their their um, uh, what do you call it? Their their council people uh -huh. they voted on it and they passed it. So in twenty twenty five, they're minimum wage for f the city of Forest Park everywhere okay. is going to be 20. I don't need to move to college. Who are you Park. telling? And hey, you see, <laughs> see, that's that the part really that, that irritated sense. me. Not that you said that, but they said that they raising the minimum wage that high is going to attract the higher quality people. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, you're going to get people like that. The my opposite. <laughs> right. It's going to attract the ones <laughs> that's, that's already <laughs> the lower in the barrel and say, you know what? I'm over in Mableton making right. bullshit where I'm going to work. I'm going to move to Forest Park. Well, I ain't going to do shit. I'm going to be doing a bare minimum. I'm going to do the same job like, and make three times the amount of yeah, work. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. $23.45 an hour. But you know, the cost of living should be high at that point because the way the economy is. I didn't, When I be hearing people, when I be hearing people talk about they making forty and $50,000, I be, I be shocked. Like, how do you survive? You can't on that no more. It's crazy. No, like, I, I mean, back in the day, I was good. Even oh, in the house man. that I was making, when, even in my house, I wasn't even making, <coughs> I think, 50, 60,000 a year. And that was in 2008. And I was able to do that. Now, I could not go in there and make what I was making Who then and try to get a house. They would look at me like, 
Who girl, you are got you three telling? more jobs? Like, yeah, like I did. <laughs> what else you got? Right, you, girl, you got another check stub, ma'am, because this ain't gonna work because it makes no sense. Like, yeah, yeah. So when I hear people making that much, I just be like, damn, you know. Just thank you, Lord. <laughs> All I can say because I came I was, up right when I was supposed to come right, up. Right, like I got everything right on time. Yeah, and me I'm too. not leaving because if I had a did it, and if I had a waited like people was waiting, you know, 15, 20 years, oh, you screwed. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you not gonna, and the market is not gonna go back down to where you want it. Mm-hmm. If they do go, it's still gonna be a three hundred thousand dollar home or two hundred. You're gonna have to still come out your pocket. Yeah, yeah. And it's That's correct. It is. When I yeah, when I got out the military, my first job was uh, for Intel, mm-hmm. the 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 processor people, mm-hmm. and they paid me forty 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 five thousand dollars a year. Michelle K, I could not spend it faster than I was making it. It was the <laughs> most amazing thing. Like my paycheck would come. And I was, you know, I had just got out the military, you know, so I was, I was used to for years only having like small budgets. Okay. So I think when I got out on civilian side, I probably made the equivalent of maybe like 21,000 a year. So that was a big increase. Yeah. So, and then not only was it the 45, but then they also gave me a $600 a month car allowance that went on top of my paycheck for me to buy a car. They also gave me a corporate car. They gave me corporate housing. They gave me um, a corporate expenditure card. They gave me um, just was something be, else. Is it a certain reason why? <laughs> I mean, did. I was an engineer. Oh, so okay. you know so, the people dancing around and stuff with the little suits on. I was literally one of those guys. So, but but they and they paid me forty plus. I got. Um, uh, stock options and all types of other stuff. Oh, so you so, was, so you didn't really have to use your personal money for a no, lot of things because they no. gave you so much. Yeah, I okay. literally had a corporate car sitting in the, and the way their corporate cars work was it was all through Avis or Hertz. Mm-hmm. So you just go down there, show them your Intel badge, and they say, pick, pick a one. car off the lot. And uh, in a week, if you want to keep that car, just call us and say you'll keep it, and then we'll just keep billing Intel. Right. If you don't come back, change it, get another one. Just like that. Just like that. Damn. So I, I was driving, area. and this was two thousand. I got out in two thousand. I was driving a two thousand one Malibu, like just because I liked it. And I'm beating the hell out of that car. So and then when I got tired of it, I was like, let me try the Grand Prix. I drove a Grand Prix for a week, a two thousand one Pontiac Grand Prix. And I was like, yeah, I don't like it. I went back and got another Malibu. That's was, the luxury you know that you had yeah. at the time. And but then, so I turned around, I was like, yeah, but I want my car because I want to mm-hmm. put a system in it because I was young and dumb. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I went to a car dealership with my girlfriend that would later become my wife and went to the dealership. I ain't know no better. I was ignorant. I didn't know no better. Mm-hmm. I went in there saying, I want to buy an Explorer. I went and bought an Explorer Sport mm-hmm. and I told these knuckleheads that I had a $600 car line uh oh. car lounge and they were like oh well you come to the right place mm. we can get you in a, an explorer for under that so you'll still have extra money mm. these things got my payments 585 i bet they did <laughs> i bet they did they took all my car allowance you was only gonna have 15 dollars, and they probably wanted to take that too but Man. they didn't know how to get well, it well yeah <laughs> i was like and I thought it was an okay thing. And, yeah. you know, later I talked to my moms and other people. They're like, mm-hmm. why did you tell the dealership you had that much money to spend? I was like, nobody ever taught me not to. Mm-mm. Like You always live and learn. Yeah. You oh, yeah. Learn. Oh, yeah. And I've taught my kids considerably more yeah. from my experiences. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so, and I'm just, I'm, I'm with you. I was just thinking of the contrast. You know, 40, 45000 back then, plus mm-hmm. all the... Uh, fringe benefits all the perks it was just like like oh my god like I was buying stuff that I had no business buying I was buying I would buy a stereo on one day and then two days later I was like I don't like that stereo I'd buy another stereo that was bigger 
and just take the other stereo and mothball it. I just put it in the back room and then I, I buy video game systems. Yeah. I was full. The responsibilities were there was different. no, there was no, there was no uh, knockoff brand food. Everything that you saw in the commercial was in my refrigerator. <laughs> And I wasn't cooking. It was literally just going bad. Like I was, <laughs> I was just spending money. You just had it. Just I just had it. it. That's how it was. And then I look up, and I'm spending all this. And I, yo, then it hit me. I'm like, oh shoot, yo, I'm spending a lot. Let me go check my account. I go check my account, and it literally would be the next, the Friday after, mm -hmm. and I got paid again. So I was like, oh, I shit. didn't even know. <laughs> I was, I literally, literally, not even like using it as a, a euphemism. I was literally spending it. I was, I was making it faster than I could spend it. Mm -hmm. It was a great feeling. Yeah. Like I bought dogs. Like I, I bought a miniature pension just to have at the house. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was just doing stuff. Yeah. And that was off of 45. And like you say, you run it back. And this was 2000. Mm -hmm. So literally 20, 23 years Later, yep, you can't do that. Seventy thousand, <laughs> and these kids are like, I can't afford nothing. As, man, I'm like, <laughs> at seventy thousand, you doing a hell of a lot better than fifty and forty. You should your be. Your responsibility is going to change, and that's what happened because when you at 40, 50, yeah, you buy the car, the house, and all that, but then you start buying other stuff, and then the years go by, stuff starts getting expensive. Before you know, you like, damn. Fifty thousand ain't that bad. He's like, shit, I need fifty, sixty thousand. And then when you see sixty, seventy thousand, then you like, shoot. I'm telling you, when I be sitting there, I be trying to figure out. I see my little stuff, and I be thinking, I don't even feel this money. Like, <laughs> what the hell this money is at? It look good on paper, but I swear it I don't so be fast. having it. Like, <laughs> is it the bills? I can say, but I know I travel a lot and do a lot, but mm -hmm. I love to enjoy it because if yeah. I work that hard, I'm going to Yeah, enjoy but it. But it, it goes fast. It like does. Said, it's, man. It does. I, mm, and it goes on everything. Like Everything. I, and I, I have such... And everybody in my house calls me bougie. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, call me that. Because you, you like what I you grew want. up a ghetto kid. So... <laughs> I don't buy nothing, no frills. All my shit goes on commercials. Oh. Like, you ain't gonna find nothing that I buy that's not on a commercial. Oh, really? Like, it's just me. Because I grew up as a kid that didn't have nothing. I didn't either, but I never, like, my sisters, they name brand. I'm not a name brand. Now, if I like it and it's cute, I'll get it. If the name is there, it's okay. But I'm not, uh, I've never been, like, a materialistic type of person. Okay. Unless I really like it, but like I say, It'll take me a lot for to just go out there and spend like, a vacation, a trip. Oh, I'm in. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. material things, because, and I actually started thinking about this a couple of months back mm -hmm. when I see all the people dying. And I kept thinking, you know, like when people keep they, the urns and the ashes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, when that person dying, they got like three or four ashes. Who going to get all them ashes? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I be trying to wonder who gonna collect all those ashes. So I don't know if I even wanna be cremated because they just go throw me in a pile somewhere <laughs> along with four or five other different people. And I'm like, no. So I'm like, so then I start thinking about material things. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna value all my Dallas Cowboy stuff, my blankets <laughs> and stuff. They just gonna throw the shit out like, oh yeah, uh -huh. that's my stuff. So I don't really, I just can't take too much pride into material things anymore. Right. I'd rather just enjoy it on other things because they're not gonna give a shit. They're not gonna nobody's right. not gonna value anything that I put my hard earned sweat in. You're right. And I cherish the most. Mm -hmm. They're gonna dog it like they, it wasn't theirs. Yeah. So it I just had to think about that. You know, like do I rather well I rather just keep buying all this Stuff that they don't care about and just mm -hmm. enjoy my money somewhere else and stuff. But yeah, I had to think about that because I'm a, I don't be mad they just threw my shit away. And I done worked hard for it and they just out there just turned up my stuff like, damn, mama. You know, I don't know. I promise you, my I would hope they would say, you know, this will remind me of my mom, but I don't see uh -uh. I don't see that. Mm -mm. I don't yeah. see that at all. So Well, right before I go into another quick story, let me clarify. When I was talking about this stuff, I I I'm bougie about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my fat ass and food. 
I, that's what I'm talking about. Because I'm, I'm on the same page. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Now we, now, now we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about. Now we we ain't gonna talk bad about my happy place. Because me, me and the wife just got into a, a oh, whole thing today. <laughs> Like about that? we we about to make some life decisions because oh the God. new park's about to open and we got to make some we got to make some life financial decisions like you that that place funny. is not going to be cheap. But and, you got the pass now. So. Yeah, but like the the new hotel that's opening up and like I'm literally planning for my 50th birthday like coming up because that's what she told doing. me how much the suites cost like the presidential suite. And it's not that bad compared to like Disney prices. Like the presidential suite is like twenty one hundred dollars a day. But that's the now I'm not. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm just giving price reference. That's that's a lot of bread. But considering that's a presidential suite, right? You know, so we're talking fifteen, eighteen hundred square foot. How long will you stay? I'm thinking five days. 21 I, times 5. Not, again, that's not what I want. Right. I do want to sweep, but I don't want the president. I don't got to stay don't at the very to top that. with the mm -hmm. with the but waterfall you inside the room. Nice right. And be, so they, mm -hmm. yeah, they have one called the Celestial Suite, mm -hmm. which that one is, um, I think it's like uh, 900 or 1,000 square feet. Okay. Very nice, upper level, oh. overlooking the, the brand new park. And that one, I think she said. He didn't say said, beach or nothing. He said overlooking okay. a brand new park. Epic, <laughs> epic universe. I'm sorry. The, I'm the brand not, new fuck the I beach. Was it a sand and water with yeah. shark city? I mean, who wasn't do that? There's shark city. My bad. I'm not, not. I'm not. A, I'm not a. Uh, you, Universal you, Studio. Jenny. You are going and like, eat your snacks that are full of sand. Like you trying yeah, to eat? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, no. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> you gotta know how to do it, but you talk about that. You ain't gotta know how to do that at the park. You just have good time. You don't even want to look at no water. Like you just look at. There's the water at the park. There's the water waterfalls <laughs> and water slides and water rides. <laughs> And water, water uh, fountains. <laughs> oh my God! I guess it will work for somebody who is a universal junkie. But I've never I experienced am. it. So I so am. You on a whole nother level oh, yeah. of amusement parks, and it's fun. we gonna kidnap you. We, we gonna go, kidnap you. Go we gonna kidnap you. Throw you in the back. Yeah, of the, I have to, throw uh, you in the back of the yacht, <laughs> and then we gonna race down. We gonna drive down. We gonna make you go to the park. Be like, oh my god, y'all got me out here in this park. Oh, and I don't I, yes, know. and you gonna love it. I probably would, but I, I'm an adventurous person, so mm -hmm. me, I would try everything. Oh, if yeah. I'm gonna do it, There's I'm no gonna be way. out there. Yeah, I'm, not, no I'm not, way. I can't be petty and picky on like, no, there you go. I definitely do everything if I decide to go. But that's why yeah, it's a merchant um, happy. But that's yeah, because I just in a, never in a thought burlap about sack it. And, and hey, as long as I gotta try, hey, I've been the oh, best. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry I'll about driving. I'll supply gas money. I'll do all that. You ain't gotta worry about that. Back. Mm -hmm. back your back. I drive. I love driving. You like I driving? Love, I love driving. I'm a road warrior. I love it. I love it. I love getting on the road and driving. Not due to a certain extent, you know. I if, love it. If, especially if you have good riding people. Yeah. If you don't have a good riding people, I'll get in the back seat. Put my headphones in on and watch a movie or something like that and not talk because I get irritated. Yeah. I get a little irritated on the road with too much noise. Mm. <laughs> you can talk. If it's a good conversation, I'm good. But if all that, you know, three, four conversations going on, one here and there. Oh, no, I got the family riders. Like they'll get together and they'll be like, okay, let's play a game. Now I could do that. And oh, I we, play we playing all, and they. Games I ain't never even thought of. They're like, okay, name a movie that begins with the letter from the alphabet, and then we all gotta remember everybody's oh, yeah. move. And it's like, nigga, uh, 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 <laughs> a car like going out the lane. Cause I'm like, um, uh, like that. Oh, that? Um, yeah, um, but, fuck. But that we letter we on J. Yeah. <laughs> that that sounds so, fun. Yeah, we I do. could do it's stuff great. like that, but it's if it's great. anything you just want to just I can't call it nagging, but yeah. it's that little the unnecessary talking. Yeah. That you could just just 
Just nah, my sit in the back. Yeah, my crew's very that we there's it's an on and off button. Either it's on with games mm -hmm. or literally everybody sleep. And that's okay. when I'm irritated. Cause I'm driving, I'm like, oh you motherfucker. Oh yeah, cause you oh, driving. Oh yeah, I left me. <laughs> This one head on the window over here. I look at the back seat. This one drooling out over here. This one got the blanket <laughs> over their head. They knocked out. I'm like, you know but what? But you like to drive. But yeah. see, this would be my... I don't like to drive with everybody sleep. What? So I jerk yeah. them a little bit. I'll be like... Oh, you yeah. oh, <laughs> like, what? Well, what happened? Yeah. I'm like, what? No, I would be that one, but like, you good? <laughs> Please don't ask me to dry though. But you good, right? <laughs> you straight. All right. I'm just checking on you. Now I will do that from time to time. But please, now I don't mind driving. If I have to drive, now you ain't gonna wanna ride with me because I don't like Are to you stop. Slow? Oh. Hell no. Oh, then you we I good. don't like to stop. Like we, we good. Like, you better put on the pen. We good. Find something that you can piss in or something, but I don't only time I stop is for gas and food. Mm. That's it. Oh, if you got to do anything birds of a feather, that, Michelle. I promise you, I cannot do it. I be, I will get an attitude. I love my mom, but my mom is the worst. Mm. And she quit to jump in your car. And But she know me, Kim. I'm not doing it. Kim, I'm going to pee on myself. Well, you should have. <laughs> we will get, we will literally stop. My mama go in and use the restroom and then get a big tall bottle of water. And then, oh, I gotta pour my water. No, because this is the problem. And then five miles down the road, I, I see her do like this. Uh, I, I know you're like gonna this. get mad. Mama, she talks about, okay, okay, okay. Just this one. No, this is all day. Like, we mm. would never make it. Like, mm. Mm. I don't like that. They yeah. once I get back, I, I get deaf. I don't hear none of y'all. You gonna piss on yourself today. We gonna be at least about five, six hours in before I stop. When I see that gas hand get to a half a tank or a little bit below that half a tank, because I don't like to get it to E all more. Mm -hmm. But if it gets to that, oh you 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 finna be pissing. Because <laughs> you I'm not gonna do it. I can't and I be aggravated like, ooh, like stop it. Oh, you would love our car. Cause I got all I got all my train. It's oh. like, look, we get in the car, we stop for two reasons. Mm -hmm. When that bad boy tells me we're low, <laughs> cause I will go from full to low. Oh, you go but that I'm far. I'm going all the way. Do that once, bad. once, cause I, I I won't watch the needle, but mm -hmm. I'll set the um the digital thing to tell me how many miles my, I got okay, left. Yeah, that's what I look so, at. So, and I know in in. My old truck, it was a certain thing, but this this truck now, mm. um, when it when it turns off the mileage left, oh. I got about thirty five miles right. left. Right, and that's what I know. So but when I, I hit low, that. that's yeah. when I'm like, okay, it's time to start mm -hmm. looking. Mm -hmm. So I stop for that, and we stop for Bucky's. That's you it. You know what? That's it. I want even a but. I hate it when my family, when my family, my mom and talked about that freaking Bucky's forever. <laughs> we and love we Bucky's. <laughs> She got me a that pulled pork. Yeah, yeah. Don't give that to somebody in the morning time, like at ten o'clock, ten o'clock, yeah. and that sauce shooting your mouth. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like it was too. Oh, she was so. And look, they in there. <laughs> they had two, three sandwiches, and I'm about to throw up. Like no. Yeah, that's too early for them pulled porks. But or the brisket with the man, turkey and the pork I, together. Uh, we went to Florida, mm -hmm. and my sister was say, we're going to stop at Bucky. I don't know. Oh, God, I got to get this little nasty-ass sandwich. But it was in the morning time. Okay. They have this burrito brisket. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing on it. No sauce. You can put stuff. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I was. Yeah. And when I was mad when they only. I, we made it back to there, right? Uh, Later on that evening, they said, oh, no, that's a breakfast item. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you could. <laughs> so that what? all day. Just man, give me the meat, and I get a tortilla shell myself. Right. And when I tell you that was the best brisket, yeah. now yeah. I can do the. I'm not the barbecue. And you fan. from St. Louis, so you know barbecue. Man, so you that's know brisket. Man, that mm. was fall off the bra, and then they make mm. the little, they do their little singing. Yeah. They had the little song that yeah. they be doing. I was like, that. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't even like their ass like that, but. Yeah, for that brisket though, you get me in that. But <laughs> my family going that spend. We went in two, three hundred dollars yeah, in there. And this be serious. Easy, easy. A fucking beaver. <laughs> <laughs> a 
I just <laughs> didn't understand it, but I I will stop for that brisket. Yeah. That that brisket, I will at least get three of those. But I don't yeah. go in there without grabbing a basket because I'm like, yo, I'm about yeah. to. I'm telling you, I'm getting the dog on pudding cups. I, oh. I go by the sandwiches. Hey, you I go to pickles? the chop section. They little top pickles. They they were sweet. They have a sweet and spicy already in a little bag. They had oh, different. I had Man, I like the those. Those are pretty good. Look, and they was cut thick, so you only can eat so much of. But oh mm. yeah, they was they was well seasoned. But what yeah, what I usually get, I'll go over to the middle section that they have. They making all the sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And I'll usually get either a brisket, uh, what is it, the mega brisket oh, sandwich. Oh, that little ex, that little big, big. The big one, mm -hmm. yeah. And or, is it two different kind of meat on there or is it just one? There's there's the one where it's just brisket, mm -hmm. and then there's one that has three. It's brisket, turkey, and I think sausage or something like that. That's the XL? That's it's, the... it's one of the XLs, mm -hmm. but it has all three meats on it. And it's, oof. It's good. <laughs> Man. Do they have the barbecue sauce on that even, too? Yeah, those had the barbecue sauce, and their barbecue sauce is kind of like store boardish. Like it's yeah. not great. No, it's just overbearing. It is right. If right. they don't put so much, if they let you kind of like dictate how much right, you want right. on that, it'll be a good. Or, yeah, put it in cups and then right. you like put it on yourself. Yeah, everything else fifty cents. You got to get hot peppers. peppers. They fifty cents yeah. a dollar. Fall it. Just put my barbecue sauce on the side. That's and I, it. I ask them that they do it without, and they say no. Yeah, yeah. They literally they pour it on the meat, mm. chop it up, and then pour more on top of that, yeah, chop it up, and put it on the sandwich, and then put more on top of it. It's like God man, dang, man. Yeah, but people, it's a lot. People, I'm telling my friend, they spend about two, three hundred dollars getting those sandwiches and Easy. all the little stuff. But yeah. and then the 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 um like the chocolate chunk bar, like the little oh, fudge. Oh, little fudge. Oh man, I go in there. I. I'm, I go in there ready to lose a fortune. Like I don't even look at the prices of nothing. Cause you Cause can't. You be hurt. You be. Yeah. You want. You won't even like get it. Dollars <laughs> for the shit. God, you be like this. What? You can say just ring it up. Just and ring then it up. Shit. I don't and even got, look. You I just. Be just but I'm like, you, you done? Boop, tap my card. Ding. They have these sub sandwiches. Have you ever tried a little already made sub yes. sandwiches? Yes. I get the Italian one all the time. Yes. All the time. That. Mm. That. That's one of the first thing that hit my cart. It's like, yup. And then I go to the center to get the other sandwich. When yes, I, I do. Tell you, my sister had one, and I was like, let me try that little, the little turkey. Mm -hmm. You so didn't have good. to do. It was so flavorful. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, and then it's packed with meat in yep. it. Oh, they don't be playing. They don't. They that don't. was that. Now, that's the only reason why I like Bucky's. Y'all can have everything else. I don't need all the little decorations and crap like that in the blue right. on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the little spatulas. The whole section. Yeah, spatulas right. and, and chopping they got the boards. And grills outside. Now, I like, I've been looking at the little grills they would have a Bucky. Okay. I don't need the beaver. Just give me the grill without the beaver because I'm paying extra for the beaver. But no, but they be having some nice stuff though. For they real. do. They do. But I, they do. that's the only reason why I like Bucky's. Other than that, no, mm -hmm. they can have that. I'm like, mm -mm. but that brisket, oh shit, yeah. they don't let it be before 10. Oh, I'm already there. Like, yeah, pull yeah. over. Let's go. We, we, can we get that first? Yeah. But, yeah, I was, I was telling you a few weeks ago uh, off camera when uh, me and a wife, we were coming from Perry, back from George. Perry. Florida. No, we were coming. Yeah, we stopped at the one at Perry. Mm -hmm. We were coming back from Florida. Oh, you had did that and, little mix up on the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we stopped at Bucky's. We were out there at Bucky's arguing in the doggone parking lot. We was at Bucky's. Like, it don't matter. We, it, we could be mad as hell. Like, we stopping at Bucky's. Like, I don't hey, care I don't, what, mm -mm. what the problem is. Mm -mm. I don't care mm -mm. if I, I brain farted and I filled up the tank two miles before we got to it and I didn't see the sign. Mm -hmm. we, we stopping at Bucky's. So that's it. Gas almost on E or Bucky's. That's what we stopping for. Man, so. man, that's 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 my. I can't say my happy place, but if if it's a certain on a road trip, now nah, they had a burrito. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had that little burrito? They had my my brother and I had got it was all beef, mm. and it had lettuce and it wasn't a whole lot in there. But it. oh, every time I go, it's like my God. the line is so it many is. Mexicans <laughs> in line. It's <laughs> like they, it must be good. I don't know what beef they use, mm -hmm. but it's chopped up so 
fine mm. and it's they and it's meaty. I promise mm. you, I had to eat it in sections because mm. we weren't gonna be back at another Bucky's for a while. <laughs> so <laughs> I ate a half on, on the road, then mm. I had I had the three sections. Right. Mm-hmm. And when I got to the hotel, they say, You still got that br- uh that burrito? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't eat the last of it. Not like I promise you. It is so good. Yeah. It is so good. I promise I'm you. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give you it a shot. Now you might like all that cheese and all that. I don't do it, but some of them, the one I had didn't have a lot on there, but you would like all that. So mm-hmm. yeah, I like all that. But yeah, that they burritos is is pretty good. Like And they're made to order? In that section too? Yeah, or? it's already road already pre-made in the burrito area. You had to go to the burrito section. Cause you know oh. how they have a little section by the little where they do the little dry beef, the beef jerkies, meat. They be having a little beef jerkies. Is that in the back? Right. At the very back of the store? Yeah, it's or? right. Okay. Well it depends on the bathroom is here. Yeah. And then you have on this side the soda machines, and then yep. you come down a little yep. further, then you'll have like the um the fudge sometimes and then you have a burrito it said burrito area and then further down they have okay. the beef jerky they have the whole little thing of all kind of little raw I've beef never you never that seen far. that man fresh beef jerky they do their own jerky Bucky's. there's so much i still and got to is, do i promise it's a huge <laughs> man we went yeah. in one sto- we went one entrance we got lost and didn't know how to get back out to our car <laughs> And I can't say there's no way this place is this big, but it is like <laughs> if you if you don't remember the entrance you came in, oh you'll yeah. be walking. Yeah. But it, it has a lot. And I'm I'm just whoever came with this, I promise you. And they don't do no trucks. Right, right. No trucks. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Like y'all they don't want no truck drivers in there. Like yeah. that is crazy, but they like, make their money. Hell yeah, without them. So you know they doing good. So mm-hmm. imagine if they did have a truck driving. And very rarely do you see a pump that's open. It's like they got a thousand of them. Right. Like, you know, unless you done fell asleep <laughs> and not paying attention. Trust me, they have they have a dog area where you walk your animals. Mm-hmm. They have mm-hmm. a nice little setup. It's it's pretty. I was amazed. Yeah. I was I was definitely um. And all of them are that big. They, yeah. they don't skimp on mm-hmm. not one mm-hmm. of the buckies. Mm-hmm. That's what I mm-hmm. like about it. And everybody's so friendly. Mm-hmm. They have that same personality. But can you see how much they get paid? An hour? I did. I did. I actually, because when I was pumping my it, gas. Did you send it some, somebody I, 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 I might have sent it to you. And I'm like, I'm looking at it. I was like, hold on, man. I might have to be a <laughs> gas station manager. <laughs> This is fantastic. Hell, they told me the bathroom attendants was getting twenty something dollars an hour. Yeah, no yeah. experience necessary. Shit, that's a flush of toilet. <laughs> <laughs> how would be in the nerve like this? Hey, how how can I have you? Need some tissues? <laughs> you need some wet wipes? What else you need? I yeah. promise you, I'll be doing overtime out the ass. Like yeah. you would if not. If they weren't so remote, it was, yeah. But that's that's, just, that's part of it. That's gonna be the thing. You have to get there. But if you live <laughs> near a Bucky's yeah. or if you near live Macon and all that, Perry George is not what a good thirty minutes from there. From it's Macon, that. yeah. Because Warner Robins is is literally right there. Yeah, yeah. It's right there. So I don't know. You have to. Hey, shit. Ain't no, ain't no wrong relocating. No. It's cheaper in the, in the country. So move out wish, that but now that you say that, like when I first got to Georgia, mm-hmm. I was living in um Sandy Springs and I got an engineering job in Warner Robins mm-hmm. and I was driving that oh. every day. Oh yeah, that's a nice little ride. Back then gas was a six a gallon. It's nothing. I was mad. Right. <laughs> I was mad. How <laughs> dare gas be a dollar six? Because I just came from Boston. Okay. I was in Boston working for Intel, quit that job, came down south, got the job down here, and when I left Boston, gas was ninety nine cents a gallon. Oh, okay. That so I was like, a dollar six in the south? Like this is crazy. So in my truck, I literally would have to fill up in the morning, mm-hmm. drive all the way down there, and then fill up again once I got off of exit forty six. Um, at the Warner Robins exit, fill up again, drive all the way to work, finish work, go to football practice. Because back then I was playing uh, semi-pro football mm-hmm. in Warner Robins. Finish football practice, then drive all the way home. By the time I got near home in Sandy Springs, I'd have to fill up again. So I was literally filling up my tank twice a day. But at a dollar six, 
in my Explorer, filling up um, my tank was like thirty five dollars. So yeah, that was and that it was, was like thirty five dollars. Right, too. it was thirty five dollars. Damn. Now it cost me ninety seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my and god. And gas is cheap right now. It now I look at it like, wow, I can't believe gas is this regular, cheap. But premium, my dumb ass yeah. always gotta get the cars that have a premium Me in too. it. And it's like, I can't get mm, my truck take regular, thank God. But um, when I fill that up, I was used to paying $70, $80. People were like, what? Hell, that bitch is gonna last for a while. But man, now, when I was paying a hundred and then went up to a hundred and something dollars doing that little um, Obama era. It was, I, I think, close towards the end. I don't know when it was transitioned. Mm -hmm. And that gas was like four, five dollars and mm -hmm. stuff. I'm going to sit this car down. Man, man. <laughs> but the truck lasted longer than a regular car. Mm -hmm. I was paying a lot putting gas in my car, but my truck, it lasted for at least a week and a half. You know, mm -hmm. and stuff, especially where you go with that little raggedy gas. But yeah. You gotta know where to go, but yeah. man, now it's cost me about seventy. Yeah, this is my first luxury vehicle, my first. Mm -hmm. So I've always <laughs> the eighty-seven was my friend. Oh yeah, and yeah. then my old truck had the flex fuel. So oh, I could throw that 85 so in there, is. which was even was cheaper. Easy. But yeah. then that just run out the tank like yeah. freaking water. It it burned quick, but. <clears throat> Yeah, but I, mm. I don't know. This, I don't know how people was doing it before. I promise. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I, trust me. I can't watch it. Mm. I just click it. <laughs> Who you? When it's going, look. When I see 50, 50, and that's like, is that a half a tank? God damn. <laughs> I'm saying like, oh God, I know this is gonna be 60, 70, 80. And then you fill up another car that do premium. Yeah. I'll be like, that's why my son be like, Ma, can no. I don't care if you put gas back in or not, it's just the mental part of it. Because I put all my money in there and you finna run out just put your money back in there. No, that don't work for me. <laughs> that don't work. Because I need to run out what I put in there first. Right, right. Because that was a lot. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then you talk running up and down the street. No, I'm going to work. And home, yeah. I will stop on my way to places, mm -hmm. but backtracking up, you mm -hmm. actually go, What? Ooh, you should have caught me an hour ago. Oh my yeah. god, I don't know, I can't come back out. People know once I go home, I ain't coming back out. I hear mm -hmm. that. Mm -mm. See, lucky for me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rewards and points whore. I'm one of those. Mm -hmm. So that makes me buy things that normally I would be like, There's no way. Mm -hmm. But when I and see, the bad thing, and my wife gets on me all the time about it, because I will gather up these points and never use them because I like to see them go up <laughs> <laughs> and to get mad. And then when they expire. When they expire, mm -hmm. I'm I'm still mad, but they're still mine. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, two things I'm bad with. I, I get gas rewards and movies. Mm. Like my movies was out of this world. Like I literally like for like uh what is it uh, uh Regal mm -hmm. for Regal, Regal mm -hmm. I had over five hundred thousand points or five hundred thousand uh, reward reward things. So I was like a, a ultra diamond member, like the highest over it, that like way sense. over it. Cause I, I'm, I'm a movie buff, so oh, okay. every. Every and this was pre COVID. Before mm -hmm. COVID, every single weekend I was going to the movies. And I was always putting my card. My wife had a card mm -hmm. and she uses her points all the time. Like the second she get them, she was using. Them. <laughs> so she you used up all her shit, right? <laughs> so we'd be at the movie theater and she'd be like, Can I use your points to get a small popcorn? <laughs> Hell no, nah, you can't use my points. Niggas, here. <laughs> Just take the card and buy the popcorn. She, and she do that too. You got all them points? Like, why? Hey, you know, them, them you my You should use yours up now. You know, we on the same level here. You should have just improvised, but I don't know. That was me. It was so I bad. Don't know. They go up there, and I just love to hear them say it. They be like, wow. Um, <laughs> you you can have do everything you want, pretty You much. have 500,000 points. That's they be like, shame. well, what can I get? And they be like, <laughs> what can everything. you not get? Like <laughs> but, everything. But it don't pay for a free movie. It would, yeah. Mm. Like at the time, I think it was 
you needed 15,000 for a free movie ticket. So I could have, you know, I could have been gone. going to the movie. Yeah. Like every week I could have been going to the movies for free. Mm-hmm. Like uh, 5,000 would get you like a free small popcorn. Mm-hmm. Or if you bought a popcorn, like 3,000 to upgrade you to a large, stuff okay. like that. Or you could get free soft drinks, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So she, she buy her ticket, they put the points on there, and she asked that day, how many points do I got? They are like, 6,000. <laughs> All right, can I get a free popcorn? How about you only got a thousand points? But she probably free. I'm like, for that. She gonna come back as many times as you though. Like you. <laughs> for that. That would be. Me. I would never use them. I was not using them. But why? And they would literally. Not? They would literally. I had so many points because they expire after a year. Right. I was getting an email. Hey. 10,000 points are expiring because mm. January's coming up. And I'm like, let them expire. Oh, yeah. You got mine. You finna help. Because I'm about to get another 30,000 when these the Black Panther and the rest of these movies come out in January. So she was so mad. Oh, she was man. like, just let me. Buy. No. You wouldn't even give up none and you just gonna let them go. No, nah, I just let them go. I'd be mad about them going, but I'd be a hell of a lot madder if you spent them. Because it would help. Because then it? I'd, I'd see the dip. It like, like expired, they just kind of like float yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> But you use them, it's like somebody with a shovel. Like, give me them shits. <laughs> I get mad as hell. I'm like, don't you take my point. You said it just float away, like, out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. If I know you use it, oh my God, like, it's World War Three. Like, oh, I remember you used the popcorn. <laughs> No. I was so bad. I, I was know. so bad. I don't know, man. So that's bad. Crazy. That's I'm crazy. still that bad though. But when COVID came and nobody could go to the movies, oh. they're all of a sudden now they're expiring and I can't oh, recoup them. At all? Yeah, because we couldn't go to the movies. Mm-hmm. And I literally called. I was like, hey, can y'all freeze this? <laughs> because none of us can go. <laughs> and they were like, well, don't worry about it. When we when the movie theaters open back up, you'll be able to just start again. Know. And I was over like, again? yeah. So I went from like the top <laughs> level all the way down to a motherfucking ruby. I was like, you know what? Fuck these points. I was so mad. I, so I, you I don't even. I've never been that. I was I, so mad. <laughs> like to this day, I don't even look at them no more. So we go to the movies, and Ty said, "Can I get a pop? Get the fucking popcorn. Fuck it. I don't care. Fuck it. I don't even shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, get whatever you want." What, what the fuck? You want some M&M's with the shit? You want some motherfucking gummy bears? Fuck it. Use all them <laughs> shit. Like, I'm mad now. I'm so over it. I'm mad. I'm like, fuck the, fuck the point. I, I can't stand this shit. I'm so mad. I'm so bad. So mad. Because that's how it make you feel. You be so caught up in it, then it be like, oh, you, you don't fuck me over like, you don't exactly. fuck me out. I'm yeah, so yeah. proud. Oh my God! They so t- they said you can start over. I know you probably gonna fall out of that floor. And start I, over. You don't understand what you're telling me, but Michelle, yeah, I no. used to like go online oh at work God. and just look at my status. <laughs> Ultra diamond. And look at that shit. That shit have seven diamonds across the top. I'm like that's right, Pippin. You on top of the help. line. You top need of the help. line. I'm not. I open uh, it right now. That shit got one red <laughs> ruby. I'm like, Fuck this shit. Fuck all these movies. Fuck it. I'm going back to pirating. I'm just going to download movies. I ain't fuck the movie theater. I ain't fuck them. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so bitter, man. Oh, I'm so bitter. Yeah. Oh, that, would, that would put me in a different mood. So bitter. I done said that worked hard for my points, and then you take them away. You but just take them. Yeah, so, that's uh. Yeah, so now I, I, I turned my efforts to two things. <laughs> oh, so now I got a couple reward point credit cards. Yeah, I got so, those. Oh. But I oh. don't know how to use it. One of them. Well, don't ask it. me because it's going to be, the answer going to be you don't. Because American Express and Discover, they mad at my ass because I stack. Like, and American Express, a lot of people don't even like using them like that. A lot of places don't use American there, Express. There's a few places that don't, mm. but for the places that do, oh, I, oh, I get oh, you them. Get them. I get they them. They probably say, God dang, they probably want to cancel your Express, membership. They, they hit me like on a monthly basis. Hey, uh, 
you got on two thousand dollars in in rewards money. You want to use that to pay the bill? Hell nah! I ain't never using it. You might as well just put it in the bank for me. And they don't have a cutoff point. Mm -mm. Oh man, they messed mm -mm. up. They, they messed up. I ain't <laughs> never. You gonna be the one that set an example for the ones <laughs> that coming in never. after us. Yeah, from here on out. Yeah, we're gonna cap it off here. My goal is to have as many reward points as my limit is. And then I'm a ball out on them. I, I say yes, that, I but then when I get there, I'll never do it. Mm -mm. Like I want to be able to go out to go and, and buy, like like splurge, mm. and use the card to the max. And then the next day, when the payments due, take all my points and pay that shit off. Right? Like, <laughs> and that's what they. But don't I want. won't do it. But she, because you know. then, I, yeah. But I look at them. I'll be like. Yeah, but then I have to start from zero yeah, again. Yeah, and that's I how they're going to probably get you. Then they probably say, as soon as he get that zero, that little number, we're going to start throwing yeah. stipulations on uh, like <laughs> that. Be for that one. Yeah, well, from here on out, this is what your look. New, oh, new agreement. Know. You got to check the box and say yes. Yeah. New agreement. <laughs> I ain't checking it. They're like, well, you can't get back on the site. Mm. Like, you motherfuckers. Yeah, they don't find a way to get their money yeah. back. But, mm. So is that and dog or racetrack has their membership thing oh i'm getting them for the gas the gas yeah. oh my sister so, them is on that mess oh hey hey i am a sultan of is it the sultan the salt whatever the highest level is so once you achieve the highest level you get you, you get 25 percent off of anything in the store okay and then you also get um uh a free um a free 32 ounce drink mm -hmm. every day and i don't even use it okay like whenever i get gas i put it in my number whenever i go in the store i put it in my number like so whenever you just build up the point. i just built up the points mm -hmm. so i i already achieved the absolute highest level because i was at it for like three years so it's the highest level and I ain't use it not one time. I don't even know if you lose it, but it's just in know. me not to use it. So mm. I'm yeah, I'm a points hoarder. Like I'm I just like, Yeah, a hoarder. <laughs> a points hoarder. Cause you use like hoarding points. I, 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 I do point. I do and I, I get know. mad when somebody wanna use my points. That my baby sister is like that. <laughs> she do the gas at Kroger's. Okay, yeah. Between her and my uh, now I don't like Kroger gas. I don't either. I stopped using that because it's something I can't do do good in my car. Mine so either. them two would go back and forth. And my sister one time I think I had her um when when Kroger switched to Shell mm -hmm. gas, um, I went one time. Okay. And I accidentally used some points. I didn't even know how to do the little. It just said, "You want to use points? Hell yeah! Look." <laughs> <laughs> my oh, gas, my gas. Oh, you just made my heart hurt. At this time, the gas might have been like two or some change. I ended up paying like a dollar or some change. You used that because much? Because I didn't know it was, I didn't know that you had a, look, I, I was just pushing buttons. So I done filled up, I was happy as hell, look. Man, I promise you, my sister was calling. And I look, hey, what's going on? Hey, where'd you just come from? I was like, I was at the gas station. You used my point, what point? She said, pump. Cause she get an alert, she get uh -huh. all this shit. And I was like, well, hell, I didn't know what it was saying. She said, you know, you use all my points. I got my bad. Look, oop. But I, look, I said, I got my gas for a dollar some chains on. She was like, I bet you did. <laughs> never got that card. Look, never use her number again. I was like, but I never went to Kroger's after that. But I would just add, I just started adding points on hers when yeah, I went somewhere yeah. and used her number. But uh -huh. yeah, she got me good with that one. She was like, oh my God, I shit. I don't do the points. <laughs> like, I don't know how it works. I'm still trying to redeem points from my little uh, credit card that I have. And they keep telling, your balance is this. You got, bitch, if I knew how to work it, I would. And I be trying to read little things to try to oh. see. And they tell you to. It, it gotta be a simpler way. If it's mm -hmm. if you know I use it every day, just have it active and ready. Right. 
why I gotta go find it? That's mm-hmm. why people don't use it. So yeah. I was like, shit. I and they don't want you to use it. They don't. They want you to get. They want to get you somewhere along the line mm-hmm. and be like, hey, I got this big deal for you. And then you like, oh yeah, let me run over and get it. And then now you messed up because yep. now you're paying that and money. No. Uh huh. That's exactly what they want. Mm-mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I do the same thing with Kroger. I don't even. Mm-hmm. I I got rid of my card because mm-hmm. I was I was bad with Kroger for a mm-hmm. while, and mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? In fact, once Racetrack came out with their points, mm-hmm. I'd like Racetrack gas. Mm-hmm. I literally was like, you know what? I went to the wife. I was like, hey, let me know your your Kroger number, mm-hmm. and from then on in, I just use her number. So everything I get, I she gets all the points oh, okay. for. Cause she likes that gas. She like. Okay. So I'm like, have at it. Yeah. But I <laughs> give me them racetrack points. <laughs> like, yeah. don't put my number in. When they ask for the members, no, put my number in there. Give me my points. I don't have so, no cards on. I, it's bad enough keeping up with my own credit card. Like, <laughs> I all them little and then all them little things that have on your little keychain, them little. Cause they, they don't do up. those no more. They don't, but that's how long it's been. Good Lord, had one. It's okay. you got to get so back in the world. And it was like tearing up and stuff, and they be like, can't they were. And I yeah. was like, forget it. And that was the they last were. time I ever even cared about using any kind of reward points. Like I said, I have them built up, but yeah. I just don't. Um, yeah, everything now is either like Google or Apple Pay. So you got to put the number in your phone. Man. But we going to get ready to get up out of here. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. But I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.